Blessed dear my people, so in today's video we're going to talk about Select a Footer Hype and following Twins of Twins 2 locks for doing an interview with Jeffrey. Also we're going to talk about Popcorn Mother urge to talk to the entertainer and this is after Popcorn getting an altercation with the police them. Footer Hype also I wonder if the police them get orders for KILL Popcorn. Because of course you know so recently it kind of seemed like the police them take a sit on him. But some persons think the entertainer need to calm himself down. And on top of that, the police them did do an interview with Dan Salma and them said that popcorn could possibly be charged you understand my people so seem like more charges are come towards the annual boss you see it also we're going to talk about vibes cartel case gets compared to a similar case in bahamas with a man named simeon or simon bain the man was actually convicted for taking out a burger king assistant and as me said the case similar to vibes cartel case so i actually talk about it my people and marry the article also we're going to talk about reggae artist chronics being missing and fans are now wondering where the entertainer has gone. Also, we're going to talk about Jamaica, which now has the highest percentage of paternity fraud worldwide. And this is according to some reports that came out. Also, we're going to talk about Massacre school friend accusing Idonia friends of mashing up his TV. And this is because he play Massacre song. So the person actually got live and they don't know they might expose some things. We're going to talk about it and <laughs> you can't tell me anything about the situation here. Also, we're going to talk about a woman who is now venting after her sister dashed some acid for normal people and that same thing nearly catch you with the baby. My tell my people, that story here is a very sad one and why when i play the video you know i understand why i say it's a very sad one is it but before i go further into the topics don't forget to like share and subscribe also head over to my instagram page mix up time 4 but i definitely appreciate that all right people so the first thing we're going to talk about is select a footer hype and following twins of twins two locks because he did an interview with jeffrey now recently we see footer hype forward out and him burn out valiant him burn out some other people dj mark for associate themselves with jeffrey because jeffrey did an interview with a girl and basically same get you know atty wash you don't know me at all about run about this so you see it so you know chronicler did for perform a jeffrey event and chronicler never go foot high big up chronicler now recently we see leon bailey did an interview with um cm jeffrey Footer hype must make a post and you don't know I guess footer hype feel away. Cause you know footer hype rate Leon Bailey and thing, you understand? Now we go so boom and say two locks, twins of twins, two locks do an interview with him. Like mother say two days ago footer hype was actually following twins of twins two locks. Yes, what I say. Cause it's like you can predict the foot hype and unfollow him, you know. So you wanna go check for ensure him him a follow him and thing. No one go footer hype and follow him. So obviously footer hype in him feelings as it relates to this interview. You understand? Twins of Twins Tolax is still following Futter Hype. But I guess eventually he will see that Futter Hype and follow him. You understand, people? I may wonder if you don't feel like Futter Hype will take this thing too far. If I say I'm going to every single body we do an interview with Jeffrey. Because regardless of what happened or what Jeffrey said about the whole Atiwash business, people still do interview with him. People still rate him. And people still associate themselves with him. Walk and talk himself, say him now you know disassociate disassociate himself from him he must still work with him because you know walk and talk is the co-host of the let's be honest podcast but it seemed like anybody would do an interview with jeffrey footer hype i gotta have a problem with it you understand me i say i have a problem with them so you know it's kind of a do or die situation not sure if twins of twins two locks is going to address footer hype and following him or if he's just going to unfollow back footer hype and just keep it moving you understand what i say more people but you know i guess you can go watch the interview and see what i go on it kind of seem like twins of twins two locks have a little respect for jeffrey based on how he might talk and how he might you know deal with the youth and thing but i guess footer hype maybe did i expect twins are twins two locks for body up and say hey boy you have timon and ratey and lele but maybe because it never got away there then him unfollow him i don't know anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is popcorn mother who is being urged to talk to the entertainer before him getting at some serious problems with the police them you understand me and say and even footer hype as me say i wonder if the police them right now get orders for take out the entertainer i'm gonna actually read the article so I understand what's going on. Then I'm going to show you the post with the person now one popcorn mother for talk to him. And also I'm going to show you the post with footer hype. But let me get to that article here first so I understand where everything has stemmed from. Is it? 
cites a popcorn tussles with police after stunt riding incident. Dancehall star Popcorn reportedly engaged in an impromptu stunt riding demonstration over the weekend to please gathered crowds on Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew. This got him into hot water with the cops who had asked him to stop. In the video widely circulated on Sunday, Popcorn, wearing yellow and riding a three-wheel bike, step in when a police officer attempts to halt other bikers. The officer then confronts Popcorn, leading to a scuffle by bystanders intervene and separate them. The other bikers flee, leaving Popcorn among a noisy crowd of supporters and police officers in the chaotic scene. Popcorn was heading home and saw the crowd at the up to the line after Champ's party and decided to stop and do stunts in the road to excite the crowd. He was warned to desist and he refused to the cops which held on to the bike because he has committed an offense a police officer familiar with the situation told Dan Salmag on Monday the officer said Popcorn might be charged with several offenses after the incident Popcorn will be charged by summons they said possibly charge could include careless driving without causing an accident and blocking the road Dan Salmag contacted Popcorn attorney at law Bert Samuels who said he wasn't aware of the incident during the face-off between the cops, irate bystanders verbally abused the members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, got S.O. to the mother and moved on to B.C. One shouted, another bystander accused cops of bad mind, on a bad mind because on a can by a three-wheeler bike. Got no mother. Online users express fear for the unruly bar. Safety in lights of his frequent run-ins with the law. Swear me just one puppy left Jamaica. One wrote. But not everyone was complicit in Popcorn's action. No plate not even on the bike. Miss Sarina soldier wasn't there for broke him up. One wrote, Popcorn, whose real name is Andre Sutherland, has had an intense relationship with the police in Jamaica over the years. In January 2024, during a court appearance, he declined an opportunity to apologize to the police for his behavior at Unruly Fest when lawmen summoned. Similarly, my bad, similarly ended the show in St. Thomas event in December. The entertainer was fined $6,000 after pleading guilty to several charges, including disorderly conduct and using abusive and calumnious language. He was also fined $40,000 for breaching the Noise Abatement Act. In 2021, he was fined $10,000 after he pled guilty to several traffic violations in the Yalla's Traffic Court in St. Thomas. In April of that year, after being charged, Popcorn took to social media to lament that he was being unfairly targeted by the police. However, Jamaican cops have denied Popcorn's assertions with the commanding officer for the St. Thomas Parish, Superintendent Alice Byfield, claiming that the arresting officer did not even know the international dancer singer. So yeah, my people, that's what's going on right now. Mega actually get to the post where Popcorn Mother is being urged to actually warn the entertainer and then we're going to move on to Futa I post. So I over pink wall, the person said, hide my ID, please. So I've seen a video where Popcorn other situation with police over a bike. What I gathered that they were showcasing bikes at an unsafe location. Smarty, please tell Miss Rona says she must speak to her son and tell him to leave off the road and do things in a lawful manner. His run-ins with the lawmen are becoming too frequent and it might not end well. Just a word of advice. Yes, it's so that's what the person sent in and footer hype. Him did repost there an article that was done. See him, you know, a similar article where I talk about that situation here. And him say, I wonder if the police at Jamaica get orders for terrorize and KILL popcorn. Yes, it's so I'm not sure if that's you know that are really true where them get orders or not. I am not here to assume that or tell any lie on the police them. Yes, it. but you know, people are gonna come to them own assumption and all of that. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is an artist. And I think he's also a producer named Two Finger, right, my people? I think I say him name pronounced Two Finger. Anyway, him goes a boom and basically say, him a play some massacre and I don't have a friend them. Must you know what? You're massacre and you don't know. According to him, they must mash up him TV or something like that. See, my people? Now, the whole situation kind of confused as me I wonder how him even get for the round them, for them thing to happen. See, my people? Because I didn't catch the full life. Um, but the piece of life when me get, you don't know him at all about who no one here massacre, you know, go. Him talk about a bag of things. If you know one here massacre, put in earbuds and this and that and all them things there. I'm going to actually um, run the live now, see my people, and you can tell me anything about this. I'm going to also show you some posts where him make, on him status, or him story, on Instagram. Listen to this. Massacre. Them no one play no massacre. No one play no massacre, bro. Them 
Pretty boy, they were quite high, they don't have to play no massacre. They don't play no massacre. I don't know if they can build the rhythm, but they must never mash up the laptop, them thief that. So if you don't want to build good rhythm, the amount of time he called me to go up to him, in black to help him build rhythm. I mean, I not go, because my energy never feel him. The amount of time he called me to do session with him, I mean, I not go, because my energy never feel your youth. Your energy is not real. You can't tell people from the block not to play a massacre song them. I make them feel Gigi for play a massacre. Bro, no man can't tell me which song for play no youth. So if I play my massacre, them for my big son in a dog. And some man not like hear it in a dog. I don't know no God go with them in a dog. Because from me, I work with massacre from me in a high school, you know, bro. You get me, I say? If a man not want to hear me play a massacre song, them, them use earbuds or how them put in at them ears. The cocky. Me not even know what you call it, bro. But so lock on your ears on your ear where you play a massacre song them. You see me? Alexa, as a matter of fact, play a mat play a massacre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my people, so him post up this uh, TV badness waste man them. S on a mama. Yes, it obviously you can see say TV mashup. Um basically him say yo a three TV me buy in the past three years. Fifty inch up B man. Four one the fourth one this me I go buy now. So I guess him one of them know say yo. No matter where you do you know, you no can't stop me, but just I go out they go buy a next TV. You understand what I mean? say him also they post the interview where him do with on stage TV with um where name Winford Williams. Is it and him say one side him tag massacre as a matter of fact and say one side till the landslide bad mind I got in at it. Is it so I don't know my people. Me did almost sure say this world massacre I don't I think they done. No, no, what do you say I don't yeah big up massacre when they told them they did one event in our next country. So I don't know people. This whole situation here just kinda make me confused, yes it but only can tell me anything about this in the comment section, yeah, man. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel case being compared to a case in Bahamas where a man was accused of taking out a Burger King assistant. And when we say similar, everything, it kind of play out the same way right now, except we don't know if Vibes Cartel will be freed or not. And the more I read the article here, obviously, the more we're not going to understand. So let me get into it. I actually think it was interesting, and I never know about a brother here until I see the article here. But anyway, it's a... Vibes Cartel will be freed or face retrial. Here's what the Bahamas Court of Appeal did in a very similar case. King of Dancehall Vibes Cartel future hangs in the balance as Jamaica Court of Appeal weighs whether to free him or order a retrial following the UK-based Privy Council's overturning of his conviction. The ruling parallels the case of Simeon Bain, the so-called Burger King K-I-L-L-E-R in the Bahamas, who spent 13 years in prison before he was released instead of retrial. Cartel Adija Palmer and three co accused Sean Storm Campbell, Kaira Jones, and Andre St. John have served over 12 years after they were found guilty in 2014 for the taking out of Clive Lizard Williams in 2011. The fever artist initially received the harshest sentence with over 30 years until eligible for parole. The conviction was upheld by Jamaica's Court of Appeal in 2020, but Privy Council, the Ireland highest court, overturned it earlier this month, citing serious jury management issues, particularly the continuation of the trial with a tainted juror which had compromised the fairness of the trial. Bahamian Simeon Bain was convicted of napping and taking out a Burger King assistant manager Rashad Shanti Morris after a failed attempt to, attempt to ROB the restaurant safe in 2009. The prosecution sought the DEATH penalty but Bain was sentenced to life in prison in 2013. In 2017, the Bahamas Court of Appeal upheld his conviction but allowed the appeal against the life sentence substituting a sentence of 55 years. In April 2020, the Privy Council overturned Bain's conviction, ruling that he did not have a fair trial because he was forced to represent himself after his lawyer resigned. Describing Bain's case as one of the serious mismanagement, the Privy Council noted that if matters had been handled properly, Bain would either have been persuaded to retain his original attorney or would have obtained an alternative choice, giving him a fair trial. Like in cartel case, the Privy Council also sent Bain's case back to the local court of appeal 
to consider whether he would face a new retrial according to the tribune or tribune. It took the Bahamas Court of Appeal almost two years to decide if Bain should be freed, a decision that cartel attorney Issa Buchanan hopes will happen much sooner in his case and one that Jamaica's prosecutors are keen to avoid. In explaining its ruling, the Bahamas Court cited the passage of 13 years since the situation or since the crime, the impartiality of a retrial amidst a heavy backlog of cases and the anticipated ordeal a new trial would entail for Bain Murray's family and the public. This is not an easy call. The court wrote in February 2022 ruling, the NASA Guardian reported. However, having considered the various factors, we are satisfied that notwithstanding the seriousness of the offenses and their prevalence, yeah, prevalence. These offenses took place nearly 13 years ago, and the case if, if is effectively an old case. We are satisfied that in this particular case, it is not in the interest of the justice for the appellant to undergo a fresh trial. Yes, yeah, see, my people, so it's a very similar case to Cartel 1. We are going to see if Cartel will actually get, you know, no retrial, and they're going to just let him go. Not just Cartel, but him and the co-accuser, yes, it. Let me know anything about this, but it almost must take them two years for this side that can you imagine if Cartel have to sit down for two years and wait for find out if he might get a retrial or if um they might set him free. Two years is a long time in number people. What about 2026 March them time there? Anyway, let me know anything about this in the comment section. Is it so the next thing we're gonna talk about is a woman who is now venting after her sister throw A C I D on her face, my people, and also well upon her body overall, but it seemed like a mostly in her face it catch her and thing is it and this is because of jealousy that I them say and is a younger sister do it at that because she feel like the big sister act like she better than her and them thing they understand this story here is definitely a very sad one my people my now go around here when you know watch this video you know what actually say why why my sister watch that clip here my people I never thought my sister would do this to me now I gotta go around mother at me who did it to you Nini who did it to you it hurt to say my sister, my mother and sibling did this to me. We got the same mama, same daddy. My sister did this to me. That hurt, bro. Y'all don't know how this is. Y'all making joke this shit. Ain't no joke. Look at me. Look at my mother skin, bro. My baby's wife this shit. Hit my baby shoes. It could have hit my baby skin. The How you think that made me feel? All my I cut off. Look at my head. Look at my face. I had clear skin. I had hell. Now look at me. Cause my sister want to do this to me out of anger. Out of hatred. Cause you think I feel like I'm better than you. No. Yeah, man, you can see that the girl is very frustrated because people are make fun of it like it's something for joke about. Yes, what I say? Um, I don't know. I don't even really follow up for know what really happened to the sister if she, she got arrested or something. But more than likely, because obviously this is American, they not going to play around. You understand what I mean? I don't even think, even if she now want to press charge against her sister, I don't think, I think it's out of her hand now because the whole thing is public and all of that. You understand what I mean? Some people, but, you know, when you don't expect, like, your sister or your brother or somebody for hurt you and them actually do it, it hurt worse now when somebody else do it, you understand? Because you can't see, say, she's shocked. She never believes her sister would have done something like that. You see it? Any other people, let me know anything about this in the comment section, yeah, man. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Jamaica, which now has the highest percentage of paternity fraud worldwide. And this is according to some reports that came out recently, you see it? So this is what the article is saying. Based on a finding that is now making rounds online, Jamaica is infamous for paternity fraud, holding the number one position in the world for such endeavors. Nigeria is in second, Canada third, UK fourth, while France has the fifth highest rate of this type of fraud. As per the report, Jamaica has the highest rate of paternity fraud in the world at 34.6%, Nigeria 30%, Canada 2.8%, UK 1.6%, France 1.4%, 
4%. The issue has increased the call for a mandatory DNA test locally in recent times. A picture was shared on X, formerly Twitter, of a female giving a presentation on the stats. The post has since racked up over 4.2 million views in less than 24 hours as it continues to spread online like wildfire, mainly amongst the Nigerian community. While the source of this latest findings was not revealed, previous research on 5% of the population of Jamaica and Nigeria showed similar results. Understandably, many persons have something to say about the report. One person wrote, yet we keep hearing why do men cheat, another stated. That's why I still maintain my stand that paternity fraud should be criminalized until then. Wicked women who don't care what paternity fraud cause their kids will continue. One individual made a lengthy statement stating, hear me out, never settle down with a Nigerian or Jamaican woman. Why? Because your chances of marrying a paternity fraud agent are highest with women from those countries. People will say not all of them are like that. But if I give you a bucket containing 100 tennis balls, 80% of which are red balls and 20% are white, your wish to pick a white ball blindfolded, what is the probability you will pick a white ball, not red? You see, you will be playing yourself. In 2021, St. James Central MP Heroy Clark brought attention to the contentious issue in Jamaica paternity fraud, proposing DNA testing at birth. This move sparked a heated debate, reflecting deep society concerns over the identical and responsibility issues entangled in the country's prevalent jacket culture, where children are mistakenly attributed to incorrect fathers. Clark connected this issue with a broader social impact, including crime rates and child rights, emphasizing in the gravity of paternity fraud beyond personal disputes. So people, that's not the full article, but one thing I can say, mandatory DNA testing should be done in a every country. That just to become normal now. You understand what I say, my people? I demand them for just seek it out. You understand what I say? I just saw it going. Even if you're sure, just to be on the safe side, just do it and done. You understand what I say? Before you, make that, um, before you sign that paper. But anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. But the next thing we're going to talk about is chronics who have been missing off the scene for some time. And a lot of persons are wonder where the reggae artist gone right now. You see it? So, let me get to an article. Only can tell me anything in the comment section. You see it? So it said, the mysterious absence of chronics, Jamaica's reggae prodigy gone silent. Once hailed as a successor to Bob Marley, Jamaican reggae artist Jamar Rolando McNaughton, who is more commonly known as chronics, has conspicuously faded from the public eyes, sparking widespread curiosity, curiosity and concern among fans and industry insiders alike, with a career that skyrocketed with hits that resonated not only in Jamaica but across the globe. His sudden retreat from the music scene and major events in his homeland raises more questions than answers. Chronix, a native of St. Kath in Jamaica, burst onto the reggae scene with an energy and authenticity that captivated audiences worldwide. His songs, which ranks among the most popular reggae tracks globally, have amassed hundreds of millions of views on YouTube, established him as a cornerstone of the genre. His influence and potential led many to view him as the next torchbearer of reggae music, following the colossal footsteps of Bob Marley. However, in recent years, Kranich's visibility has dramatically diminished. His absence is particularly felt in Jamaica, where he once was a prominent figure at major music events. Notably, he was last seen by Jamaican public at a protest, an appearance that spiraled into controversy due to a viral video showing a man hurling expletives believed to be directed at Kranich's. While it was later reported that the tirade was not aimed at him, Kranich's silence on the matter did little to quell the speculation. Currently, only one post appeared on Kranich's Instagram page, which has over 800,000 followers. The post made on January the 20th shows an image of Kelisa. He wrote, never-ending search and revelation of beauty, been a very enlightening journey making music through the years. And him Tagar. The reggae artist's absence was keenly felt at significant events like Rebel Salute 2024 and Protege's recent reggae show in Kingston, occasions where his presence would have been expected given his Rastafarian beliefs and close association with fellow artists in the community. This uncharacteristic withdrawal from public life and the music industry has sparked various theories from a possible personal sabbatical to focusing on unseen projects. 
you see my people, so I don't know what's going on with chronics. You don't know from you're, you're absent for a while, people are going to wonder, warm to you. Them not get no music, them not see up on no shows. You're just gone, just so. You see it. Me feel like him, I go through something personal. I don't think him just gone for nothing at all. You understand, my people? I don't know. But that's just my personal views because chronics love music. You understand? It's not like him had something where him not love. Him, is, him love. The, the, the music and the culture I love the Jamaican people him. so it have to be something personal but let me know anything about this in the comment section yeah man and that's it for the video don't forget to like share and subscribe respect to everybody who watched the video I'm out